Hello, hello. I'm Brunton, one of our MCAT tutors here at Inspira Advantage, where we help students get into medical school and other professional programs. Welcome back to MCAT Bytes. Today, we'll delve into attachment theories, essential for understanding human emotion and social development. This topic is not only fascinating, but also crucial for your MCAT prep, especially when it comes to the psych sub sections. You can expect to see anywhere from one to three questions on this, so definitely make sure to make some Aki cards. Let's start with where did this theory come from? Attachment theory is rooted in the work of John Bowlby and was expanded by Mary Ainsworth. It examines the emotional bonds formed between infants and caregivers. Bowlby's four stages of attachment provide a framework for understanding these bonds. Pre-attachment, attachment in the making, clear-cut attachment, and formation of reciprocal relationships. Let's dive deeper into the four primary attachment styles identified by Ainsworth. These are the ones that you definitely need to know for the MCAT. You will see questions on these, so make sure to make cards. Let's start with secure attachment. The characteristics of this are that children will feel safe and secure with their caregivers. They will use the caregiver as a base for exploration and are usually comfortable with strangers when the caregiver is present. When they are put into a strange situation, the child may show distress when the caregiver leaves but are quickly comforted upon their return. The long-term implications are, as adults, they tend to have healthy trusting relationships and good self-esteem. This is typically what you want to aim. Next, we have the avoidant attachment. Avoidant children often appear independent and self-reliant. They do not seek much comfort or contact from their caregivers and do not show preference between the caregiver and strangers. In a strange situation, the children do not show significant distress when their caregiver leaves and avoids them upon the return. The long-term implications of these individuals is that they may struggle with intimacy and close relationships in adulthood. Next, we have resistant, or as the MCAT more often often calls it ambivalent attachment. These children are often anxious and uncertain. They exhibit clingy behavior and become very distressed when the caregiver leaves. When the caregiver leaves, they are not easily comforted upon the caregiver's return and may show conflicting behaviors like seeking comfort but also resisting it. The long-term implications of this is that the children may develop heightened anxieties in relationships and fear of rejection or abandonment. And finally, we have disorganized. This style is marked by a clear lack of attachment behavior. These children's actions can seem disoriented, erratic, or even contradictory. When the caregiver leaves, they might display a mix of avoidant and resistant behaviors and seem confused or apprehensive about the caregiver's return. The long-term applications, implications of these children is that they are often linked to negative childhood experiences. They might face significant challenges in relationships or emotional regulation. As a future physician, this can also be a sign of abuse at home. So you definitely want to be able to recognize disorganized attachment. For the MCAT, understanding these attachment styles is essential. They offer insights into how early childhood experiences shape an individual's approach to relationships, emotions, and behaviors, which is a crucial aspect of the psych and social sector of the MCAT. Attachment theories provide a crucial lens through which you can view human development. Understanding these won't just help your MCAT score, which we definitely want to happen, but it's going to be a very crucial, important skill when you are a physician, especially so you can look out for kids and just to better understand your future patients and people in general. Thank you so much for watching our video on attachment theories and I will see you next time.